Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the prime factorization of 75. Remember, for the prime factorization of a number, we break the number down into its prime factors, the prime numbers that multiply to equal the original number. So we are decomposing a number, breaking a number down to only prime numbers. So taking a look at 75, we need to start breaking this down by thinking of two factors, two numbers that multiply to give us 75. Well, three and 25 are factors of 75. Three times 25 equals 75. So let's break 75 down into three and 25. Now keep in mind, there are other factors that we could have started with here. For example, we could have started with five and 15. Depending on the number, there can be multiple different factors that we can use. So there can be multiple ways to do these. But in the end, we will get the same prime numbers, and that's what's important. So keep that in mind. Now let's continue breaking this down. We have three and 25. Now three is a prime number, so we are done here. We can't break that down any further. So let's circle three to show that we have a prime number. 25 on the other hand is a composite number. We can break 25 down, so we need to think of factors. Well, five times five is 25. Five is a factor of 25. So let's break 25 down into five and five. Five is a prime number, so we are done here and here. And that's the prime factorization of 75. We can't break anything else down any further. We have all prime numbers. So let's write this out as 75 equals, and then we can write our prime factors in order from least to greatest, and we are multiplying them. So we have three times five times five. If we have the correct prime numbers, they will multiply to equal our original number. So let's check. Three times five is 15, times five is 75. So we are correct here. So there you have it. There's the prime factorization of 75. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.